Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm giving my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to check it out. The ninth most popular project on all the games right now that is Trailblazer, the John Ware Trail, a journey of exploration and discovery. It's for one to four players, 30 to 120 minutes to play, age is 14 plus. I do like the fact that they're mentioning this right here, getting myself a medium weight game feel i like that i can kind of see the artwork um honestly the backdrop is a little bit more prominent than the artwork so maybe just zoom in just a smidge bit on that i'd like to enjoy the backdrop a little bit more fun in five hours i don't really care i can see how this green bar works and i feel like there's probably going to be some other information that would be more crucial there like stretch goals or shipping or something cool like that but other than that it looks it looks interesting i mean it looks it looks like a lot of other games that i've seen you know, the, the quiet, peaceful, tranquil vibe is there, which I think is probably what they're going with. Love it. Need the info on each and every marquee. Hey, hey what's up, Jeremy? Uh, so, I agreed. Yes, always ha always good to have this right here. It's on the side of every box for a reason, because it's vital. Uh, 1,600 backers, that's fantastic. $76,000 raised, but as always, when I go to the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? That's what you need to convince Kickstarter backers. Let's go. Trailblazers gives players the experience of a 12-day hike exploring the John Muir Trail in just about 60 minutes. At its core, this is a re- Okay, so immediately I got a little bit of a disconnect there. I love the fact that you spotlighted the time length on there, uh, but you you very clearly on the time length said 30 to 120 minutes, and you said, well, it's about 60 minutes. And that's like, it was like, wait, 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 well, that, that is... Just little things like that. They, they, they irk me, but that looks cool. That looks good. Love Resource management this. game where players need to reach the end of the trail and up the elevation track mm -hmm. while balancing opportunities to take in the scenery and observe the field, which can result in immediate bonuses and lucrative end game scoring through set collection. Okay. The game plays over 12 really rounds, fast, okay. and the main goal is to reach the end of the John Muir Trail. This is the only way a player qualifies to win the game. Every round, players have a number of actions they can choose to take, with a limited number of action tokens. Players start the game with three actions each, but can gain additional action tokens throughout the game. Hiking the trail, reaching destinations, and observing the field requires players to spend natural resources. Thematically, we think of this spending as needing to have those resources in view at the time the player claims the card. Players may also be required to spend personal resources, such as water or food, to reach certain landscapes. Hmm. Resources can be acquired in a few ways. First, at the beginning of the round, each player will draw then select one trail card to play. These cards have the benefit of immediate resources. Field guide cards will also award resources or points in a similar immediate fashion. Players can choose to take an action to get I, I really dig the art style. It reminds me of like uh, a camping book from like the 1970s, 1980s. Like the art style, I like that a lot. As an avid camper and hiker, I appreciate the little nods, like leave no trace. Yeah, I, uh, I'm di I really like how this game looks. I think they crush that. <clears throat> gather natural resources as well. Field guide cards, landscape cards, and trail cards all contain backpack items or patches on the lower left banner. Players want to try and fill their backpack with useful items by playing these cards. If a player plays a card with a backpack item they've already equipped, they can climb the elevation trail once, potentially gaining additional bonuses along the way. I was wondering how that worked. On a player's turn, they can climb the trail by paying the next depicted resource on their unique map pack discover field guide cards by paying the resources above the card location, claim a destination card by paying the depicted resources on the bottom banner, collect natural resources in one of four locations, take the first light token, making them first player next round, spend trail cards for their depicted resources, or resupply at the lodge once it's available. At the end of the game, players score points for sets of unique field guide cards, and the player who finished the trail with the most points is the winner. Wow, okay. Um, I felt like that was that was a good video. I definitely think that was a good video. I think it, it just ended really abruptly. But it, it went 
and it went super deep into the weeds of the rules but at the same time i felt like it was brisk enough that i wasn't like all right whatever i'm gonna have to like it was still just at the basic it was basically just explaining to me the game without really telling me the exact rules um so i thought it was well done the cooper's hawk's tail wasn't round enough sorry i'm a naturalist for a job game looks stunning though <laughs> Yeah, I think we were all thinking that about that Cooper's Hawk's tale. Mariposa Games is a publisher of board games in Phoenix, Arizona, where we strive to create wholesome board games that are beautiful, strongly thematic, and to be enjoyed by all gamers, experienced or new, young or old, competitive or family-oriented. We're excited and most thankful to have you be a part of the Trailblazer and our future growth. So we got three people here in the customer service, along with the uh, Dan Rice, the creator. First created, so you already need to convince me along the way it's not necessarily a deal breaker uh but do i want it um yeah i mean it looks it looks a lot it just looks it feels familiar to a lot of other games um but it, it looks interesting yeah i think they did a good job selling themselves they showed off the game i know i had the basic gist and yeah so i feel like they did a good job on do i want can you do it? Not convinced there yet. And how much is it? Hopefully, it'll be around the bush. We get to the price. Components theme, gameplay, check, check, check. After that video, I am excited for the ride to come. I'm, I'm also excited as well. Uh, I think that I like. I really do like the art style, and I'm not typically the biggest fan of art. Plus, I am. I love. I love anything outdoors, uh, especially with my kids. We got the board set up. You see the thing. Trailblazer, the John Murtra, is calling all the great, more minded generations today and future to play this amazing visual and educational board game the artwork alone is a backpackers embark on their journey is stunning i can't wait to play trailblazer with my family S eh? um so i always feel like leading off with a quote from someone who hasn't tried your product is just not great ever unless unless it's such a name where i said to myself oh my gosh you got arnold schwarzenegger like just you know what i'm talking about like it has to be a big name like oh gary gygax said something but he's dead but obviously but you get what i'm saying uh so the great granddaughter of the person who blazed the trail saying yeah that game looks fun i don't i don't know if i, I don't think i'd lead with that uh embark on a journey of exploration discovery among the amazing john moore trail through the high sierras of california explore the majestic mountains and lush meadows the picturesque waterfalls and alpine lakes scale the heights of your cities uh got it so find a goal Ooh, we're talking about expansions already fantastic blackbird and blue bear and these got whoa little meeples little animal meeples i did not realize that there was in fact little animal meeples in this game i guess there wasn't you just added it that's exciting right mini expansion that's fantastic oh that's if you if you hit funding and this is kickstarter exclusive this is why you need it now as opposed to the retail version but honestly with a first time creator i'm not particularly worried about the retail version conundrum that companies like cmon and renegade games have uh linen finish card stock with ivory core nice linen tokens upgraded thickness okay i do like they're showing it slightly at an angle i get the gist 20 screen printed wooden track tokens that's nice that's a big one right there going from the uh ooh, that's real nice custom bird trail point markers that's fantastic that's great as well variable skill decks Ooh. so this is uh this is adding some asymmetry to this game which i love uh weather token because i know you each have your own unique little uh clip trail you have to go on but that's nice solid micro goals bang on unlocks yeah agreed every ten thousand bucks uh weather token drawstring bagged whole things mission cards 16 cards wow that's a good chunk of gameplay there i think like anytime you're adding 16 cards like that's that's really nice upgraded wooden medallions two additional map packs higher degree of difficulty okay hopefully that's uh more for the solo i'm gonna guess i don't know or maybe if you want to like handicap that would be nice if there's these are handicaps so for more experienced players versus new players either way if that's what it is if i could utilize it like that that's that's awesome i wasn't excited until i got to the section those components are nice agreed agreed and honestly from the main video uh the main video i i didn't get i didn't get a great vibe on the components like it looked it looked very prototypey which is fine but I did not get that vibe, and now... I, I like the board, though. 
but yeah, I agree. What's in the box? All right, we got the long sex showing shot, hopefully with the price. I can't wait to add Trailblazer to my collection of American West-themed board games. Andrew Bosley's depiction of Yosemite and other California natural wonders are truly breathtaking. The only thing that I think is really discernible or good at all from this quote is the fact that you mentioned Andrew Bosley's artwork. I'm going to guess that's a name that, uh, cause I think I've even heard that name before, but other than that, once again, it's someone saying like, if they, if has he played it, I'm, I can't, I can't wait to add it to my board games. It has nice artwork. Like let's really strip this quote down to what it is. <laughs> um, so I don't feel like it's a good quote. What's in the box? 48 beautifully illustrated oversized destination card. You're hitting me with millimeters. Hit me with the inches as well. So I'm assuming that's like tarot size. 120 millimeters. Let's see. 120 millimeters, two inches. Uh, 4.7 inches. Okay. That's, that's, uh, so these are pretty big cards. With artwork by Andrew Bosley. And once again, I would convert that currency. I would convert the, the centimeters to inches because the majority of people here, yep, from the United States, 1,000 to 96 in Germany. So, yeah. Uh, we're stupid for not using metrics, but but if we're your customers, convert it. It's nice, it's nice to do. I see the board. I see it looking very functional. The map area over here. All right. Four hiker meeples. Those look really awesome. Four player boards. Hit me with the inches. 48 backpacks gear. All right. Showing me the thickness. 20 track tokens. Which I know are upgrade because of the Kickstarter thing already. Even though I would update this with like Kickstarter stuff or the stretch goals. I think it just makes it look prettier. Four map packs, 16 journey bonus arrowheads. Cool. Those are those are a unique looking component. Those look interesting. I mean, I know they're just pop outs, but still, it's just that general shape. I like how they look. I just like how this game looks. 24 weather tokens, 72 natural resources, 56 personal tokens, lots of tokens, lots of stuff. I just want the price. Like, why couldn't we just BAM! $64. Whatever the price is, just slap me with it already. Um, all right, so we have the Robo Hiker Solo Mode by John D. Clare. Ooh, be still my beating heart. And once again, I go back to here, a journey of exploration and discovery. I'd, I'd name drop John D. Clare on that solo. Why not? Funded five hours, I don't care. Talk to me about stretch goals. I, we've unlocked 32 stretch goal cards. You know, just, just something right here, I think, um, would be great to update people on how well this is going and why they need to be excited to check this out, because there's some cool stuff going here. Recently announced, the solo mode brings a brand new variation of Trailblazers that John Moore Trail includes a simple to use deck of Robo Hiker cards to guide you through the game. Cool. Undoubtedly, this is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. Trailblazers did a great job of putting worker placement, resource management, and set collection together. Great game. Okay, so that one I do see. Worker placement, resource management, set collection. I like that. Unboxing? I don't care. What? <laughs> Why is this the first video? Why do I don't. No! I don't care about the unboxing. One of those games I won immediately without even having played. What a wonderful game. I love the beautiful artwork. This is what's... <laughs> I, I hate these quotes. Like, I, I'm not a fan. How to play. Ooh, here we go. Welcome to... Okay. It's a learn while playing, which I think... I, you know, I think most people would probably prefer just a to play but still leading off of this i think is great 57 minutes uh two-player playthrough so we got gameplay videos how to play video coming soon Ooh, and so they even see this because this like, like honestly this this is different and i do videos like this all the time where i teach my kids how to play games and i don't consider those how to play games you know videos typically um uh, meeple university how to play video coming soon so that's what i do like to see uh two i'd love it was already up there but what ifs uh, I, I like the fact that they're telling me it's going to be there. Two-player playthrough. Great attention to theme and detail. Resource management is tight and wonderful. Okay. Resource management is tight and wonderful. I do like that. It's actually telling me an interesting aspect of the game. you got to be careful with your decisions. I like that. Very impressed with the game and how well it flows. There's so much, but it integrates so well. And that it is really inspiring to see. So there's a lot going on, but it flow wells together. It's got like an Orleans vibe. If you played that, there's a lot going on in Orleans. When you first explain it to someone, they're like, oh my god. And they're like, no, nah, it all flows together. Uh, and then how to play video. It just says game board mastered. Oh, how to play video number one. So there's three videos on how to play. 
Today we will discuss how to play Trailblazer the Jump. So this is a YouTube short how to play. I did not know you this was a thing. Today we will discuss how to play. So, I, I, call me crazy. I make YouTube shorts. And they limit you to a minute. TikTok gives you up to three minutes. But, I'm, how, that makes me, I don't know. That's just weird. I'm I'm very intrigued to see if this is something that catches on. Because trust me, I do YouTube shorts. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well for her. And now I want to try to see if I can compress that into a minute. Um, but I guess she's doing it over three times. I don't know. That's really interesting. Rule book. Get an advanced look at the rules and learn how to play. Not negative or positive on that. I like I love the basic idea of making these how to play videos as short as you can. If you can explain to people how to play in a YouTube short or TikTok time limit, I mean they ooh, that's awesome. That makes me wonder, can I do a how to play video in a TikTok in three minutes? Yeah, I probably can. Okay. Anywho, focusing. The art by Andrew Bosley is incredible, and the gameplay is just as great. The game is well-balanced and thematically. It may be one of the best, one of the best thematic games I've ever played. Okay. Stunning. What players like most about Trailblazer? Thematically spot on, easy to understand to play. Great game and logistical, very streamlined, great theme. This is okay. Great. Awesome. Lots of quotes here. Honestly, these quotes. Theme pulled me in. Gameplay stays consistent with theme. Great mix of race, set collection, and resource management. Yeah, Sean R's quote is better than half the other damn quotes there. And I know the other people have bigger names, but like, this is better, I think. Theme, mechanics, match, theme. Different ways to score points. This game is tight, managing the resources. Okay, so this honestly makes me feel better about it. Uh, Trailblazer, so what is this? this is a preview. These are where we got the preview. Play super smoothly. First impression is superb. Trailblazer. The Don Merit will appeal to both. I just, have I gotten the price yet? Because honestly, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with the quotes. I just want the price. Nope, I have not. Okay. And yes, I know it's over here. But if you're on mobile or on iOS, you have to make that an extra click. It should be a part of your story. Just period. Ah, here we go. Reward. So they are here. Fantastic. But it's down at the bottom. Uh, so $59. Reasonably priced. Dollar under MSRP. Once again, not particularly worried about, oh, is this going to, I should just wait till retail. Because chances are it's probably not going to go till retail. Being a first time game designer. Uh, backpacker, 59 bucks includes the base game with all the stretch goals. I feel like that's pretty reasonably priced. Now I do need to see the shipping, make sure that, uh, lumps it in there. Cause now I'm going to be looking over MSRP with the shipping, but it looks around about the new norm for what I'd expect to pay for a game like this. Not to mention it's a first time to game designer. So the price I don't think is great, but I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's bad. I think it, I think it's right about on the nose. Uh, retailers. We would love to support game stores by offering the Kickstarter version of Trailblazer to retailers during the campaign. Back the retailer pledge K. Why back now? So that's it. There's just one pledge level? Oh. Okay, then a three times bundle. No people want it. The six times bundle. And zero people want it. Uh, retail. Wow. 25. Now, that is very interesting. That's a high number. Which makes me wonder... How many of these retailers are maybe like gift shops or something like that? Because, you know, uh, like this is the kind of game that I would expect to see in like a, you know, a national park gift shop. You know what I mean? That's a great number. Good for them. That's really interesting. Uh, and then 1,200 people getting the game. The Advanced Solo Mode by John D. Clare. Is this all coming in the box? Hopefully. Why back now? Either way. Uh, so, clean and clear over here. Pledge manager shipping. Here we go. 12 bucks United States of America. So, now I'm looking at a $71 game. It's not It's not great, but once again, I think it's totally reasonable. Especially when you're factoring in that this is a Kickstarter game. There's a very good chance that you will get one of the first print run. And there might not ever be another print run. Because the majority of Kickstarter games never get a second print run. You know, so... If the game looks great to you, yeah. I, th I feel like 71 is, is okay. I don't think it's great, but it's okay. 25, 18, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45, okay. And once again, this is this is a larger size box. It looks like, like a ticket to ride size box. A lot of people on there. Uh, awesome. Mary Post's game. Welcome to Mary Post's game. We thank you for visualizing. Okay, stuff, things, and we're out. All right, let's check out the FAQ updates, comments. Give this one a grade. Leaning very positive on this one. I can't think of too many things that I really nitpick about it. Um, FAQ. Nothing. All right. Did I have anything that I needed to know? Oh, VAT. Did you mention the VAT? That is... Oh, wait. Oh, God. VAT. <laughs> one big VAT announcement. Okay. 
Yeah, that's the other thing. I, I, I apologize to all the international backers. I always try and check the VAT. And I just kind of glossed over it. I got a lot of stuff on my mind right now. New baby. Uh, we're not, yeah, so they didn't mention the VAT at all. Don't like that at all. So that's, that. I just, flat half point grade there. Half point grade drop. Um, Got to mention the VAT. <clears throat> Granted, they did in the updates today. Mariposa's game has decided to cover VAT expenses. Wow. For all those affected, up to $12, U.S. dollars, we will also be able to lower shipping costs to some countries as a result of brewing distribution partners around the world due to our early success here in Kickstarter. This news will be reflected in an updating shipping chart and notes regarding VAT in the shipping section of our Kickstarter pages. We love our backers. So, that means absolutely next to nothing to U.S. backers, but to the rest of the world, that's really cool. Up to $12 of the VAT covered. We will also be able to lower shipping costs to some countries as a result of brewing distribution partnerships around the world. Uh, I'd like to know some more info about this. This is, that is, that is really impressive. And this is, I love seeing this. Because this tells me this is a company that's like, all right, we're not just trying to have one print run here. We want to spin this into our full-time jobs potentially one day. And by this this makes me feel more comfortable. I will say that on the can you do it aspect, all the stuff they had, all the videos they had in the front end, it definitely looks like they have their ducks in a row. They got a large team here. So can you do it? I feel slightly more comfortable on that. So let's check this one out. Any comments? That's awesome. Thank you so much. This is very impressive. Thanks for the gift. Awesome news. Hoping Canada is one of the countries being lowered. It is. Yeah. I wonder if U.S. is like... So I feel like some more information hopefully in the next update is going to be great there. But that's an awesome one to post. Uh, so another day, another stretch goal, another number two on the hotness. This one's got 11, 25, 7, 14. These are decent numbers. Let's check out what they did on the 25 one. We're number three on the BGG hotness chart this morning. I tell you what, it matters, which is why I always criticize companies who don't have their damn game on Kickstarter. Like, just, uh, you guys, it's just, there's a contest going on right now in BGG, just in case you didn't know. So get over there and try to win a complete Kickstarter version of Trailblazer 5 or a playmat. Wait, there's a, there's a playmat? There's a, what? Uh, scroll through version of trail uh with a complete kickstarter version of trailblazer oh so five people are going to win a complete version of trailblazer was this game or a playmat and 10 people are gonna uh, what <laughs> there, there's not a playmat you didn't tell me about a playmat and please like our page and subscribe help to keep trailblazers high up on that hotness list you do not answer the faq so i'll repeat my question here that is included so in the pledge will we only pay for shipments so yes once again this VAT information was not there. And that looks really bad. Orla asked this three days ago. And no one responded. Now, it's great you posted an update. But come on. Uh, Matt Pax. The John Gibb Games playthrough is a good place to see how they function. They are asymmetrical resource managers. Excellent. Thanks, Christopher. Matt Pax are the 100k stretch goal. Each player has their own unique map pack in the game. Uh, hard work pays off. Sure, we'll be getting more information on these map packs. Is there somewhere to get the game mats? The game mats will look just like the game board, but the color jumps out there much. We'll get some details regarding game map packs tomorrow in our daily update. Ugh. Oh, no. Okay, so what it looks like is there's going to be information we're seeing in the updates that are not in the main Kickstarter story, and that's always a huge misstep you should not make people go to your updates you know people who are coming to this project should not be expected to look at your updates to know that they can buy a play mat i mean no it should be on the kickstarter story hey by the way right now we're also like i like on that story it should totally link me to the board game geek because there's the other thing i don't think you link me to the board game geek at all the the contest uh, but it gets them coming back. It does get them coming back. That's fair. But I still think leaking to the board game geek, that's a really good for them for getting number three on the hotness, but that's, that's fascinating. Where do people find the contest? Sorry, I'm not well versed in how to navigate. Uh, yeah, there we go. I, like put that, put that on the link. Uh, play mat question mark. We will be available as an add on in the pledge manager later. <laughs> Don't make me like, no. No, that's a full 
That's a grade drop. That's a that's a half point grade drop. I do believe there. You got like the. How are you? You got to mention that there, like the the, the add ons, like just not having add ons. Like, cause I, you didn't tell me there was any add-ons. Very happy you see you're able to figure out a solution for our countries. Keep up the hard work. That's fantastic. Very pointed with the fat decision. I was definitely going to keep my pledge, but I'm now on the fence. There's only the, this is the only U.S.-based campaign in recent memory they could recall covering VAT. I really dislike paying for others' taxes, and I'm unsure why you made this decision, but I will take some time to decide on whether or not to cancel it. And I see their perspective. I do, because once again, 1,012 to... You know, not 1,012. And so what he's saying is, why the hell? Like, I'm your customer. I'm giving you the damn money already. And instead, you're giving the kickbacks to everybody else. And I I mean, I, I get it. I get that. I get that point. Uh, great news about that. You guys are running. But once again, to everybody else, it looks great. The rest of the world looks great. But when you actually look at the numbers, you say, oh, well, 1,012 to 83 in second place. It's like, okay. Uh, I sent a PM for a retailer pledge and haven't received anything. Responded, sorry for the delay. Having a dual-layered player board would be amazing. They aren't really necessary. They are cool, though. I've looked for some of the rule booklets to play through video. From what I learned, oh, yeah, let's go check out the, uh, the that rule booklet real quick. Because that was one thing I always like to check. Component setup. Components setup. Beautiful picture. Numbers. That's a great-looking setup. Fantastic. That makes me feel more comfortable. Uh, sunrise, so now we're you're just, where's the, where's just what I do in my turn? This is, okay, where's what I just, where's the stuff I do in my turn? Okay, it doesn't look like a fun rule book to go to, even though the components and setup look fantastic. But, it's got a how to play video, final grade for this one, let's go. Do I want? It looks a lot like other games that I've played, but I like the art style. I think this one would be hinged to a lot of people on that gameplay video. But I think they did a solid job of presenting themselves. I don't like the marquee, a journey of exploration and discovery. I think that there's some much more useful information that could be conveyed here. But overall, do I want it? Yes. And the more I found out about it, the more I was like, all right, this looks pretty cool. Can you do it? Uh, Takedo vibe. I do get a Takedo vibe. Well, that guy is an a-hole. Is the price is good? I do not mind helping others that get shafted as long as the price is reasonable. I cannot agree with that point. Well, I can. I can actually agree with him because... Well, here's the thing. This is an $81 game. And so MSRP, $60. So right now you're $21. And I know MSRP is most likely going to be $60 to $60, 70, $60 to $70 now. But it's still, like, I get his perspective there. It's 1012 to 80 And while I don't necessarily agree with it, I'm much, I personally am more along the lines of I love seeing more people around the world playing board games. I, I get the point. I do. But I, I, I don't necessarily agree with it. <laughs> Can you do it? Yes, I think. I felt more comfortable when I thought you were just making a board game. And now it's it's, it's added on to a playmat. But the playmat you're not really telling me about that much. Um, I also want to know if everything could fit in the box. So the FAQ like is like, because you, you're giving me expansions, you're giving me lots of extra content, will they be able to fit in the box? I'd also really like to know the size of this box. Because looking at it at first glance, it looks like one of those obnoxiously, stupidly long boxes that's like longer than a Ticket to Ride box. And I, does anyone like those boxes? Because I don't, I don't, I hate those boxes. They just throw off the feng shui and I've got a couple of them. Which might, ex but at the end of the day, I feel like most most of my complaints are nitpicks. How much is the price? I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's terrible. But not having the playmats there, not having the VAT until just today, and then and then saying that it's free VAT, and then not marketing that, and hopefully they, free VAT, free VAT up to $12 right here. You know, I think that's fantastic. So going from having no VAT information to free VAT it, it, and then not advertising the... I don't know. Those are things that concern me a little bit. Especially with all the shipping issues that people are having. Um, so, what do we got? Solid B. B for me too. The video did nothing to stoke my personal excitement for this game. This is a big one, but otherwise pretty well run campaign. Yeah. Uh, do I want it? Yash. Can you do it? Yash. How much is it? Yash. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a B minus, I think, on this one. I think I'm right around the same thing. I, I, yeah. I will say, though, 
I want to know what everybody else's opinion is on that. Do you feel like from a company perspective, that is the best way to spend the additional money that you're going to be making? Uh, because basically how this works is, I'm going to guess that maybe they went from saying, all right, we were going to do a thousand print run to now we're going to be able to do a 2000 print run. And when you go from a 1000 print run to a 2000 print run, you are going to be saving dollars, like good chunks of money on every single one of those games. And so what they're saying is we're going to take this money and we're going to instead help the VAT. And we're going to have banger stretch goals. Because let's be honest, that's also part of the reason why those stretch goals are so great is because they clearly are investing back into the game, it looks like. And I'm just curious what other people think about that. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on on that? Going just from like, hey, we're going we're gonna to take all this extra money and we're going to make it free VAT. As opposed to focusing on the 90-ish, what was like 80%, 85% of the people in the United States? Because here's the other thing. I think if they would have just done it for every single person in the United States and said, all right, we're, we're also bumping down the United States shipping to $10. I think all that, I think this is a very, uh, for the VAT question, it's a very American-centric game that could be population worldwide based on the theme. But yes, market it. But I know what you, yeah, I'm very interested to know what everybody thinks about that. But I'm going to give this one a B-. minus Overall, very well, well-ran campaign, I do believe. But if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button as I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers to celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. And as always, bye-bye. What's that?